Yeah, that's good. That's hey, good. you guys. How are you? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Sorry, we're checking the our frame. Oh, no worries. Let me let me fix my uh, camera here. I know you guys just got out of a boozy brunch. So are you, do you see me or are you kind of like? Oh, I see, I see plenty of you. We've been doing a boozy brunch. Yes, We've been taking shots. So um, I'm real good right now. Nice. <laughs> so how was it? How was the hanging out with uh, Tyler Rich? Oh, Super so fun. fun. It was great. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So it's so great to talk to you guys. I mean, you had such a busy start to this year. And then of course, everything kind of went into quarantine mode and you have plenty of shows happening later this year. So how have you been handling this quarantine? Um, honestly, I feel like we've been so busy, just like even after quarantine, like even though quarantine happened, like we all of a sudden we were playing, still playing festivals, but they all changed to online and shows, but they all changed to online. So the only difference is we're not getting paid for them. Um, but everything else, yeah. everything else is pretty much the same, honestly. Mm -hmm. And everyone's saying that, you know, the music industry might be going into like the drive-in type, um, you know, performances from artists. And they're also saying that artists like you and, and, you know, everybody else doing online shows should ask for a virtual tip jar, which I know is tough for an artist to say that, but you guys have to make a living as well. And we're enjoying the music. So what do you think about that? Sure, I'd be down for a tip jar. <laughs> we definitely have put those links up and people have tipped us and we're so grateful for their contributions to us continuing to play and make music. Yeah. So that's really nice. So we definitely have been participating in that. It's just, it's, so, it's a little different because we never before said, here's our tip jar. It was always like, we're gonna, you know, we do business with, or our manager or booking agent rather does business with the venue. So we're not even in, in, charge. in charge of that, in control. Like we don't, we don't negotiate those things. So it's a little, it, it's kind of crazy. I get it, I get it. But your true fans know exactly what they should be doing. So that, that is super cool. Now, as far as your songwriting, you know, people are in love with your lyrics. So they feel like they resonate. They're, they're real, true life events. So how would you describe your sound to people that maybe aren't familiar with you, even though we have fans of yours from around the world watching, but those fans that are new to your sound? Um, we are definitely pop country in every sense of the word. Um, we're a California country-based band. Um, a California-based band that plays country music. Um, I've got my Virginia roots, of course. We've got Tracy over here from Venezuela. Um, and then we've got Sophie over here from California. So we definitely have a mixing of backgrounds, but the feel and the vibe is very pop and we all love it when we play it. I mean, I'd rather assign an energy to it. And the energy is super fun, yes. very intimate, honest, exciting. Um, and something that, that makes you feel with each different song, because they're not all the same. Some of them are up and exciting and, and, and happy, and some of them are sad and they talk about being tormented. And mm -hmm. then there's others that are just like, you know, I'm having like a great time and like, this is what, this is what it is. Or I am so in love with this boy. And <laughs> here are, <laughs> here I keep feeling my guts about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, one of your songs, you have so many, but love someone you know we've heard that single as well as others on tv shows obviously you know on, on performances and stage but what is it about love someone i'd love for us to hear a little bit of it so people who maybe aren't familiar with that track can, can get a taste of it oh okay well uh love someone is a super special song we released it in 2017 and um it was featured on nashville um this final season of nashville and then it was just recently featured last year on uh, Yellowstone, which is the uh, TV show on Paramount Network starring Kevin Costner, which is really cool to have a movie star in a television episode, like a television series, um, and be part of that. So Love Someone has always been a super special song to us. Um, and we love, you know, I mean, the message is, is like, you, you, it's very simple. You can't love someone into loving you. Yeah. And that's very the truth. Relatable. And we, we have all, Tracy's felt that in her personal relationship. I felt that in my relationship. Sophie's felt that. And so while we sing the song, we can also really relate to it. Yes. Oh, well, I can't wait to hear a little bit. Can you play it? That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. It's, been, it's been a second, so give us, give us a moment. Okay. This no worries. I get it. Yeah. One, two. 
harmonies on point every single time that sounded beautiful wow 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 so you yeah. know yeah it sounded fantastic especially after some drinks too so hey why not um, <laughs> yeah you threw a curveball at us we were expecting we were expecting we were just gonna play our brand new single and we haven't played that song in a hot minute so <laughs> oh, really? thank you marco for that <laughs> hey you got you never know it it sounds literally just like we were listening to the uh the song online so it's, it's perfect you are such a good liar and that's what i love about you i'm hey i'm serious well what people don't know is that i've known danny for years i mean like 10 years when she opened up yes. her band rhymes and i met her after the show and we've written together and a couple songs and well i just adore her and of course all of you so yeah. and i love you micro and your entire family and debbie and the kids <laughs> oh, Debbie, Debbie just said, say hi to Danny as she ran out the door with the kids. I'm like, hey, get out, you guys, hurry up. Get out, get out. <laughs> so you know what? When people have um, mentioned your music, you've said before that your music pushes boundaries. What do you mean by that? Um, well, it pushes the boundaries of truth. I think we're one of the things that we love to sing about is honesty and how we're really feeling. And I feel like that's what people really feel when we're singing. I mean, you can tell when a song is written from your heart and you can tell when it's not written from your heart. And um, I think that that's true of like the sad songs as well as the happy songs. Um, we push the boundaries a bit because again, we are not a country band that lives in Nashville. We're a country band that lives in California right now. We're, we're based out of LA and that's something pretty cool. Um, we spend a lot of time in Nashville, um, but we, so far, since we're based here, we've been able to accomplish a lot of things. Um, and I, I feel like we're pushing that boundary of California country music. And even if there is a period of time where we're in Nashville, you know, so much more, we're yeah. always going to have that California country vibe. There's a definite pop kind of, you know, vibe. There's a rock element that comes from Tracy. There's a super country element that comes from <laughs> Sophie. And when you, when you combine them all together, it's, it's honey it sounds like honey county thank you tracy she has great ideas by the way like always <laughs> all the time she's like danny do this and i'm like why and then it like turns out to be the best idea ever so she's she's really great to have in the band we only keep her around for her ideas that's, the, reason, okay. yeah, that's the only reason right right exactly but tracy i'm curious too the, the style of the band it's so edgy and i know you guys credit your style to your amazing costume designer so why don't you give her a shout out for your amazing costume yes Miranda Nichols, Persico, you are the best costume designer in the world. She Actually, is, it's Persico, sorry, I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wait, so Sophie, um, let's talk about your new single. I know all three of you have been working on it and excited to sing, you know, or hear this song, I Woke Up Tired. I feel like it will resonate again with people. We're all kind of living in this dream right now or I wouldn't want to say nightmare. I like to say dream where we're going to wake up and suddenly everything's going to be back to normal. But tell us the, the method of getting this song uh, ready. Yeah, so uh, I, I recently joined the band in December. Um, and literally, as soon as I joined the band, it was like we hit the ground running. And we're like, we got to get in the studio. We have the song. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, and so we, that's basically how it happened. It was all such a whirlwind trying to get it together. Yeah. And, uh, and then the pandemic hit. And we're like, OK. Yeah. Well, we had all these plans, but let's see if we can adjust our plan. And so it's, it's been great, honestly. All the live streams have helped us a lot. And um, just the song, we're so excited to release the song. It's coming out this Friday. Um, and yeah, it's just exciting. You know, it's like my first single with Honey County. So I'm super pumped. Oh, it's Tracy's I'm... first time, you know, yeah. being on a recording too. Yeah. I mean, she's played live with us for years since 2017. Mm -hmm. First time. Hearts and her ideas and that's My really vocals. exciting. And her vocals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all three of you, I know all three of you are so talented. And and it's been, you know, recognized by Rolling Stone magazine. Uh -huh. I mean, tell us about some of those accolades, because that is so exciting to get, 
you know, and you even got Danny, rising star of country. Yeah. So how does it feel to get that recognition from people that are the true fans? I'm sorry, you, you cut off for a second. Can you ask your question again? Oh, you know. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, I saw the the feed going like this. So I was I was mentioning that it's so cool that you're getting recognition from, you know, things like Rolling Stone magazine from the true fans of country music. How does it make you feel to get those kind of accolades? It's awesome. It actually reminded me I need to reach out to them to talk about. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Call them up. Exactly. Yeah, it's 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 an honor. Seriously, we. It's so cool. Like never in a million years. I, I mean, I remember in college, like my dad was like, all right, well, what are you going to do with your life? And I graduated with a degree in music and in English. And I was like, I'm going to be a writer. And he's like, okay, what are you going to write about? I'm like, I'm going to write about music. And then he's like, <laughs> who are you going to write for? I was like, I'm going to write for Rolling Stone. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, I never really wrote for Rolling Stone except for the quotes that they would put inside of That's Rolling Stone. That's in your article. article. So kind of, fulfilled, kind of fulfilled my promise to my dad. I was like, see, dad, I, I did it. There you, so. go. there you go. There you go. So I'm looking at all the people joining. I see, oh, I see Nick just joined. We know who Nick is. I see him there. And fans from the UK are joining. So fans from around the world really want to get a taste of this new song, Woke Up Tired. So can we hear a little bit of the yeah, song? Sure. Sweet. We're actually going to play the whole thing. Is that cool? Yeah, please do. you guys that is gonna be addictive i'm not kidding thank you we get a private concert i, I wow 
I'm stoked. Anything for you, Marco. So <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Real quick, before we go, I want to know what are your musical influences to get that kind of sound going and to be so unique? Well, I will start with you, Tracy. Yeah. Uh, uh, so one of my biggest influences is um, Mateo Sosato. He's like one of my favorite guitar players in okay. Guthrie Govan. So they're different. They're more fusion. Yes. Rock. Yes. But that's like what my, that's what I love to play. So I mix that with country-ish pop. Okay. And we get this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it blends together. Yeah. Fantastic. How about you, Sophie? Um, I get like my countryside from a lot of different country musicians, but I really like uh, Shania Twain. Mm. And then as far as like my runs go, I learned how to do like runs with my voice from Tori Kelly. So oh, Tori Kelly. Matthias plays for Tori. Yeah, I know. That's the new set. I was like, oh. <laughs> Tori does. Tori's. Oh, she has a great voice. How about you, Danny? Oh man, I uh, grew up on the Beatles, Heart, um, Alabama, um, Allman Brothers. Um, but also Tim McGraw and Jason Aldean and Luke Bryan. Like, those are my first, like, country pop, like, really. And, of course, Shania Twain. Um, Any man, a man, man, a man. So, you know, like, right. those. That was Shania, right? Man, that would be so embarrassing. <laughs> no, that was, that was. Um, so, so, you know, there's a lot of different stuff out there. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, you guys, it has been so fun to talk to you. And I'm so excited about the new single. Tell us again, they can get it everywhere. But again, it's Woke Up Tired and it's out on the 22nd. Is that right? May 22nd. And if you go to our Instagram profile right now, you can see our link in the bio is a pre-save link. And it really helps us out because you just click that and they'll give you a list of things or, or of, you know, services where you can download it. So it could be Spotify, Apple iTunes, you know, whatever, Amazon, Deezer. So it's all those different music um, sources where you can listen to music. And once you pre-save it, it'll download, like Spotify, for example, it'll download um, specifically to your playlist once it comes out on May 22nd. Perfect. And I can't wait for you to get back on the road. Let's get all this going back to normal. And then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are sane, seriously. Yeah, you guys thrive on stage and I love seeing it. So. Well, thank you so much for spending your afternoon with me, and um, and I can't wait to do it again. Thanks, Marco. We love you. All right, say hi to Nick for me, Danny. I sure will. Okay. Bye. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Well, I thank you as always for joining me. I'm Marco Gonzalez, and I'll see you next time right here on the couch. Enjoy your Sunday. <laughs>